Welcome to OMG Old Man Gone, playing our second course on our ultimate German trip. Shoot 50 on the front. Wow, this wind. <laughs> what a memory. I am loving every minute of it. But this 30, 40 mile an hour wind is different and difficult. The 10th hole is a 358 yard par 4, number 14 handicap, hitting driver with a little crosswind. I'm LAW into the wind, so I'm going to hit the three hybrid. I had to clean my glasses. I can't believe I couldn't find the ball in the middle of the fairway. Playing my go-to in the wind club. Alright. Gonna push that eight iron up onto the front part of the green. This is really somewhere between a pit, a punch, and a chip. Just get it on the green. Got a long par putt. You can tell by the flag and by the uh, microphone sock that the wind is blowing pretty hard. All right, got a little buggy tap in here. We'll take it. The 11th hole is a 358 yard par four, number four handicap. Just get it out there in the middle. Wind blowing to the right. I wound up on the, on the car path and there was no good place to drop so I played it off the little piece of grass it was on. It worked out. That wind is really blowing. You can see the sock, uh, a microphone sock looks like a wind uh, gauge. Now I got Texas wedge. Now apparently in some places Texas wedge means you kick the ball out of the rough. I'm not, from where I'm from, it means you're putting from off the green. All right, made a boat. The 12th hole is a 340 yard par four, and the wind is dead on my back. It's pushing the microphone down. It's, it, uh, that's how you can tell it's at, our, at my back. Should be an easy hole. I got a 110 left, so I got a six iron that I'm gonna punch, keep it out of the wind. chip. Let's get on the green. Let's get it up and down. And we got a par putt here. Looks makeable. That wind is blowing. Look at that flag. Nope. Gotta take the bogey. 160 yards into a 50 mile an hour wind. I probably should hit driver but I don't like all the trouble around it. So I'm gonna hit three hybrid and this is a great par three. Dead into the wind, and, and I'm not going to get there with my hybrid. All right, you probably can't see the flag, but it's up there. Gonna punch All right, I got to find where the pin is and hit my punch shot up there. Get it on the green. Got a par putt. But no, no par putts fall. So I'm gonna make bogey on this hole and into the wind, I'll, I'll take it. That, that is one well-designed hole. The 14th hole is a 375 yard par four, number two handicap. But thankfully it's down day. I'm gonna hit six iron, 165 downwind. I gotta, that's me running to see where the ball goes down. It's hard to find your ball when you're hitting blind. Eight iron chip. Not a great effort. Got a par putt. And I am gonna settle for a bogey. And the number two handicap, I'll take it. Really interesting little hole here. Um, 101 yards, um, I'm hitting an easy pitching wedge. And there's people over on the left watching um, people make this shot. And apparently uh, my ball rolled by the hole to get to where it is. Got a birdie putt. Don't leave the birdie putt short. Don't do it. All right, got to tap in par from short. That's a pretty much short. Five with a little water thing running across it. To be honest, I don't even think I can reach it with my driver in this wind. 
I don't think I can reach the trouble. Those are some famous last words, aren't they? got lucky that time, but I, I won't be so lucky next time I face this little ditch or whatever you want to call it. Alright, for my third shot, I'm going to hit my four hybrid over the hill. Ninety yards out, gonna hit a OMG seven iron, aka seven iron punch. All right, hitting an eight iron chip to get up and down for bogey. All right, got a bogey putt. No, nope. gonna make a double, and the GoPro goes kaput. All right, the 17th is also a par five that kind of just goes backwards against the hole we just played. I hit driver. Now I'm going to hit three hybrid. And uh, I reach that little stupid ditch and I'm in it for uh, a penalty. And then I, I hit the, another three hybrid. That's my four shot. Hitting an OMG 9-iron from 70 yards. All right, let's get up on the green. Hey. All right, I did. I got a putt here. Oh, my camera goes nuts. That wind blew it over. And that is not a good start. Well. The 18th is a 353 yard par 4. I hit driver off the tee and then a 3 hybrid, followed up by OMG gap wedge to get me on the green. Wheels are off the truck. My last chance to make a putt. Can I do it? Can I make a putt in this wind? No, I cannot. That's a bogey. On the lessons learned side, attitude's critical. Buy the birdie book. There wasn't, they didn't give me one and there weren't pictures on the course and I paid a price for that. Have backup batteries and chips and such. Find a good club for the wind. Putting is so much more difficult in the wind and frustrating. All right, I'm on a train on my way to Hamburg. I played Bundesliga today and um... The winds were blowing 50 miles an hour and it was quite a test of golf. Um, true link style, no trees or anything to break the wind. It just comes at you. It affects every shot, including putts and chips and everything you got. But it was a blast. Take care, gangsters. Progress update on uh, Mike's and to get from 16.7 to 11.5. He's currently at 13.4. He's doing really good with his new driver that he got fitted for. He's also uh, doing a lot of work on his short game and his chipping, but he hasn't been tracking his data and he hasn't been doing his physical fitness. So he's got two strokes to go and he can make it. Go get it, Mike. Hey, if you made it this far, subscribe and become a golf gangster.